Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny. Um, today I thought I would show you different ways to tie your yarn together while you're crocheting. Um, you know, you got your groove on and you're coming into the, to the end of your yarn where you don't have that much left. Well, there are several things that you can do. Um, to do to get your next thing of yarn on and I'm going to show you one that is flawless <laughs> and I mean I, I I enjoy doing it so um and I have done the other ones and that's okay okay so when you when you when you crochet a lot and everything you start if you if you learn something else or you you know whatever and you like it you're gonna use it a lot more so with that being said I'm gonna show you three different ones that I've used so and the last one will be last one will be my favorite so um let's get started shall we okay so I got my hook we're going to pretend that I'm at the end of my, well, you know what? Let's just not pretend, shall we? We'll get a whole bunch of stuff in here. Got my handy dandy scissors. These are okay. They're not uh, my favorite to work with. But they'll do in a pinch. Okay. So I... This is a half double for anybody that's wondering. Um, so, say I'm coming to the end of my yarn, okay? Well, before I hit this and I'm playing, you know, yarn hockey there, or, or yarn roulette, I should say, not hockey. Um, you know, that's when you're going to want to add your extra your your next round of yarn and yes it is a bonus if you can add it at the end of a row especially if you're going to do a tie method and so for the first one When I was little, this is how I was taught how to tie my yarn together. You just take it, and you wrap it, and you go through them. Okay. So, issues with this is you have this to deal with. You have to hide that. When you pull, it is strong, but the rookie mistakes going and clipping like that. Now, still strong. Ooh, well, maybe this yarn isn't the best, but, but. I mean, just to, to show you the point, it, it didn't like just snap. I mean, if you're washing it over and over again, a good hard tug by somebody and it does that. Okay. Let's get that little thing out of the way there. Okay. So, knot number two. Lay them just like, just like that. Take this one, you tie it at that end, then you go over to this side and you tie it on to this side, okay? 
So you got those two. Oops. Now you pull them together. That's not coming loose. You can yank on that. You, you'll have to bust it. And the bonus with this one is yes you can pull and pull and pull to your heart's delight now if you're doing um if you're doing doily work um I'm going to say that this would be not the knot for you. Because you don't want the, a knot in a doily. But for every day and stuff, that's great. And especially if you can get it at the end. So your, your color change or your... Even if you're doing a color change. If you're doing a color change, that would look... If you got to the end, it would look flawless, a little bit more flawless. If not... You just got to go with the flow. And I could have made this a little bit. Um, I could have made this a little bit uh, shorter. Just to show you uh, for reference. Because hiding hiding knots in your stuff is a pain and especially like if you're if you're doing wearables you know it's just it's a little bit hard because anybody knows you pick at your clothes so see how you see that knot during that color change so, with that being said, we'll pull this little chickadee down a little bit here. And this is the last one I want to show you. And this is the one I said I'm in love with. Like I said, they're all right. They're good in a pinch, those scissors are. I'm just using some basic for weight in case anybody's wondering. Just what I grabbed in my stash. So, when doing this next one, this will make your color swap look flawless. I mean, but you're going to have to weave in some ends. Okay? So what you're going to do is, sorry, see, whenever I do projects, you get a little bit of me. So you're going to pull out a good amount of the last stitch you did, okay, before you do another stitch. Okay, now you're going to take your hook, and because I'm doing half doubles, you're going to go through all three stitches okay and then you're going to take your other yarn you're just going to hold it you're going to pull through you're going to pull through all three just like that okay so you have the right here and the thread from your other yarn, okay? So what you're going to do next is you're going to do the next stitch. And you're just going to do a couple of stitches, lock it in. And then I'm going to show you something that I'm, I'm not going to lie. It panicked me at first. But. After. Uh, after you. Understand that. You won't uh, have a heart attack. Your project's not going to fall apart. 
Uh, <laughs> oops. See, I do boo boos. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. So that color's locked in now. Okay, it's not going nowhere. You have the one thread from it. You're going to take this string and remember that stitch you did? Now look, you're going to pull it. Now you can weave these in. I would highly recommend it. But look at that. Now you flip it to the other side so you can see the other side. Flawless color change. So if you're doing a pattern that has has color change in it, absolutely flawless. And then as soon as you tuck this in, you won't see none of it. It'll just look beautiful. So, oh, sorry about that. So I just want you to, I just wanted you to show you the three, the three different, uh, little knots that I do but this one is my this one is my favorite and you don't even have to use it on a color change you can use it just to put your thread in again because like again it's flawless and all you have to do is just sew in your ends so so with that I hope those little this quick little tutorial will help you out and uh, save you just a small headache <laughs> and on that last one if you choose to do that last one don't be afraid is it's easy it looks like you'll lose that stitch but you're not losing that stitch I promise okay so just just make sure you practice it practice it on like a swatch before you do anything so make yourself a swatch and practice that way when you're in and you're doing your big project, when it's game time, you got it. And uh, so I hope that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Once again, I want to say thank you to everybody that has been watching my videos, that has subscribed to my channel, that's liked my videos, that's left comments. Even if it has nothing to do with the video, that's fine. I will still answer you. Um, I would prefer to be about the video, but that's okay. Um, and even if you're not subscribed, but you're still watching, I appreciate you as well. So really, that means a lot to me. Um, thank you. And that, that's what keeps me going and wanting to show you more things, do more things for you guys. So thank you. And, uh... Have a good rest of your day.